Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and machine learning. So in this video I'll attempt to create a model that can predict the winner of a Super Bowl game. Now I'm currently on Google's website, it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So if you're going to code along with me, go ahead and click on file then click on new notebook where a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell will open up for you. And in this cell, I'm going to put in a description and comments about the program. So here I'm just going to type this program attempts to create a model that can predict the winner of a Super Bowl game using machine learning. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import some libraries that I know I need to use. So I'm going to import pandas as pd. And then from sklearn.ensemble, I'm going to import random forest classifier. Also from sklearn.model underscore selection, I'm going to import train underscore test underscore split. And from sklearn.metrics, I'm going to import accuracy underscore score. Okay, and then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left. And this will let me know if I made any mistakes. Also, you can get the code or data set or just support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. Now in this cell, I'm going to load the data. So I actually need to upload the data first. So I'm gonna come over here to this folder. I wanna click upload. I'm gonna upload this NFL Super Bowl data let's see we get a small little warning and that's okay so now we have our data set uploaded let's exit here and let's actually upload I'm sorry let's actually load the data so I'm going to create a variable called df which will be short for data frame and I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore excel because that's an excel file and then I need to input the name of the excel file which was NFL Super Bowl data dot xlsx okay so let's go ahead and run this and let's create a new cell okay so now in this cell I want to show the first five rows of data so I'm just going to type df.head and then input the number five and this should allow us to see the first five rows of data and indeed we see that we can see the first five rows of data and we can see the columns that it contains so this has a column called season, which is the season for that Super Bowl and then the year of the Super Bowl. Then we have another column for the Super Bowl teams. So this is Super Bowl team one here, Super Bowl team two here. And then we have the results to see who won the, the game. So for example, here we can see St. Louis Rams won against the Tennessee Titans in the year 2000 for season 1999. Okay, and then the point differential was seven we can keep scroll, scrolling over here and we can get all this information on these teams. So the point differential for their season and the point differential for the Super Bowl game. So we can see here it was 23 to 16 was the score or the final score. And we can see the different rankings. So their, their offense rankings for each team and the defense rankings for each team and then the win loss percentage for each team and the points scored for the team and then of course we have this final outcome of team one so team one was in that column here okay all right so now that we're done looking at the data set, let's go ahead and create a new cell. And in this cell, I want to 
convert the team name to integer values. So in order to do this, I'm going to use another library. So let's go ahead and import another library. Okay, so from sklearn.preprocessing, I'm going to import label encoder. And then I'm going to create a label encoder object. So I'm going to create a variable called LD and set it equal to labor encoder, left parentheses, right parentheses, and that will give me my object. Next, I want to create new columns to store the the team names, the team name integer values. All right, so I'm going to create a column called team one, and I'm going to set this equal to le dot fit underscore transform, and I'm going to input the name of that that column, that team name, which is Super Bowl team one and then I'm just going to highlight this copy using control C and I'm going to paste it using control V and then just change that number to team two there and there okay so that should do it next let's go ahead and show the converted or I should say let's show the new data so I'm just going to type df dot head I'm going to show the first five rows of data Let's go ahead and run this and let's scroll over and now we can see these two new columns called team one and team two. And now we have an integer value to represent each team name. So for example, the number 14 will represent the St. Louis Rams. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new cell. All right, so now in this cell, I'm going to remove the last row of data from the data set. And I'm doing this because it contains data for year 2023. And of course that data is incomplete at the moment. So I'm gonna create a variable called data and set it equal to df.drop df.tail one dot index and let's go ahead and run this let's create a new cell and in this cell i want to get the relevant features for training the model so i'm going to create a variable called features and i'm going to set it equal to a list and i need to get the list of columns that i think are relevant so i'm just going to get all of well, I'm not going to get all the columns. I don't think season or year is relevant. I do think the teams may be relevant. The result is definitely relevant, but I am not going to use that one because it will tell us the winner ahead of time. And the Super Bowl point differential is not relevant for predicting the outcome right because it's already in the past so i'm not going to use that data point either but i will use all of this data except for the win loss score and of course not the outcome because the outcome is what we're going to try to predict so i think we're going to use all that data and instead of instead of those Instead of the Super Bowl Team 1 and Super Bowl Team 2 names, I'm going to use Team 1, Team 2 instead. All right, so let's go ahead and put all of that in here. So first was Super Bowl Team 1 Offense rank. And let's see, we also had Super Bowl Team one defense rank we had Super Bowl team one win loss percentage and we had the point differential which was 
team one minus team two. Okay, and I'm just going to highlight all of this. Copy using Control C. I'm going to put a comma here and paste it using Control V. And then I'm going to just change a few things. So instead of team one, it's going to be team two here. And instead of team one here, it's going to be team two. And then the same for here as well. And actually, I don't need to put point differential in here again. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to add the team one and team two integer values. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. Let's create a new cell. Now in this cell, I want to split the data into features and labels. All right, so I'm gonna create a variable called x, set it equal to data, and we're gonna get all the features that I mentioned above. And then I'm going to get the target, so I'm gonna create a variable called y, and set it equal to data, data outcome of team one. So that should be this column right here, outcome of team one. Okay, so here I put data into features and labels, or we can say feature and target data set. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, everything looks good. I'm gonna create a new cell. And now in this cell, what we wanna do is we want to, to uh, finish splitting this data. So let's continue splitting the data. So I want to split the data into a training set and a test set. So here I'm gonna put continue splitting the data into 80% training and 20% testing. All right, so I'm gonna create a variable called x underscore train and x underscore test and y underscore train and y underscore test. And I'm gonna set this equal to train underscore test underscore split and we're gonna input the X and Y data set that we just created. Then we're gonna tell it the test size. So the test underscore size will equal 20% or 0 0.2. And then I'm gonna give it a random state so that this is easily replicated. So the random state will be equal to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and run this cell and create a new one, all right. So now I'm going to train the random forest classifier model on the training data set. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable called model and set it equal to random forest classifier. And I'm going to give it a number of estimators. So I'm going to set the number of estimators equal to 100. And then the random state will be equal to zero. And then I want to fit or train the model. So I'm just gonna type model.fit and then input the, the x underscore train data and the y underscore train data. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and let's create a new cell. And now let's let's test this model. So, so we're going to make predictions on the test data. All right, so I'm gonna create a variable called y underscore pred, which will be short for y prediction. And I'm gonna set this equal to model.predict. And we're going to predict on the test data. So that's x underscore test. And let's run that. Okay, let's create a new cell now that we have those predictions. And let's evaluate the model's accuracy. So I'm going to create a variable called accuracy and set it equal to accuracy underscore score. And we're going to input y underscore test and y 
underscore print and let's see how accurate it is. So we're going to print test data accuracy comma accuracy. All right, so did it get all of the wins and losses correct? Let's run this cell and find out. And indeed it did. It was 100% accurate. And that's really good. Okay. So, let's create a new cell. Now, in this cell, let's let me put this in comments in uh, in these comments here so let's predict the outcome of the game for year 2023 the Chiefs versus the Eagles okay so I'm going to get that last row of data so I'm going to create a variable called last row and set it equal to df.tail and the input one. So this will be the last row of data in the DF data set, the data set that was uploaded. And I will show the data. So let's just type last underscore row and run this. Okay, so here's the last row for season 2022. And then for year 2023, Kansas City Chiefs versus Philadelphia Eagles. We don't have a result yet. We don't have a point differential yet for the Super Bowl because they have not played yet. And we don't have the win loss score either because, again, they haven't played yet. But we have, oh, and we don't have the outcome of team one. But we have everything else, right? So we have all the rest of the data. So let's go ahead and create a new cell. And let's see how well the model may do for the future. Let's see what happens. So I want to create a, or I'm going to use the trained model to make predictions on this new game. So I'm going to create a variable called new underscore game. I want to set it equal to that last underscore row. And then I want only the features that that we trained our model on. And I'm going to create a variable called prediction. And I'm going to set it equal to model dot predict and we're going to try to predict the outcome of this new game okay so next I'm going to print the predicted results so I'm going to create a print statement here I'm going to put last underscore row I want the Super Bowl team one name okay and this is at position 23 in our data set and then let's append it to another string are predicted to and then here I'm going to put a comma and then put the prediction at position zero so let's run this okay so this model predicts that the Kansas City Chiefs are predicted to win Super Bowl for the year 2023 okay so again, um, this model could be correct. It could be incorrect. Who knows? It is just a model. This is just a fun project. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel, I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below. Please remember that this is just a model, it's not perfect, and please take this fun project with a grain of salt. Uh, this video also used a very small data set. A lot more training and testing and analyzing still needs to be done, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video.